All right, this is my stepson's truck. And uh, this is what happens when you uh, don't pay attention to what you're doing when you're driving. Sometimes you hit stuff. And when you hit stuff, damage happens. Um, this fender here will probably have to be replaced, the metal at least. Um, I've got a replacement mirror ordered. Kind of his birthday present. Um, it doesn't match this other mirror perfectly. This mirror here is all chrome on the outside. The replacement mirror has got chrome up here, but a black piece down here. But it looks similar. Um, we're going to replace that today. i got to get him up out of bed so we can get some stuff done. This is the replacement mirror I got on... Uh, what was that? Partsgeek.com Let me pull this out. Alright, see this is the replacement mirror. And it's not all chrome. But it's mostly chrome. It's a nice looking mirror. And it looks like it's pretty self-exclamatory as to how it goes in. Can you see me? Huh? Can you see me? So, we'll be doing that here in a little bit. Let's go wake Sunshine up. Get this done. Alright, so the new one's on. All we had to do is unhook the old one and slide this one in place. And if you go on the inside of the GMC's door, it has one of these little panels right here. All you got to do is pull it out. It's got these little hooks that hook in. And it's got a hook at the bottom that fits into the door panel. And then I guess this, you have two sections that have tensioners that hold it in place here and here and once it's exposed uh, there's only three bolts to undo these washers are fixed to the bolts makes it easy to come off these are 5 8 so it comes off pretty easily um, there was a wire that controlled the electronics of the old mirror but a replacement one with electronics is uh, several hundred dollars um, this chrome one without the electronics on parts geek was like 29 bucks like 38 after shipping so that's not bad I mean that's, that's pretty inexpensive for what we're fixing it for I took the I pulled the old wires out and I tucked them inside the door panel I told Jared if he ever gets the crazy money and decides he wants one of those power ones again uh, we'll leave them in there that way they're available for future use so we're just gonna tuck this foam back in here that'll help with some of that noise and hold this just keep pointing it and he likes his little speaker here so what we'll do is we'll tuck this in the body panel and then push these into place up there and right there and then if I had some glue it would stick right there and then we're all fixed that's it close the door and we'll get him to sit inside and we'll fix the mirror where he wants it but that's basically what we're looking at and you really can't tell the difference i mean if you know what you're looking at you can say okay well this one has a little more black than that one does but i think it looked pretty darn good cool all righty